Hello and welcome to this low-level JavaScript mini-series all about the bits and bytes of binary. Computers work in binary, a number system where there are only two available symbols, one and zero. The number one is often represented by an electrically high signal like plus five volts, while the number zero is represented by an electrically low signal like zero volts or ground. So a wire carrying an electrical current can represent a single bit. And using a single bit, you can count all the way to one. But then you need a new column to keep counting. In decimal, this column is always 10 times bigger. You have a ones column, then a tens column, then a one hundreds column. In binary, each column is two times bigger. You have a ones column, then a twos column, then a fours column, then an eights, etc. Another way of looking at this or expressing this is that the first column is worth two to the power zero. The second column is worth two to the power one. The third is worth two to the power two and so on. We're going to represent our binary numbers with a class called binary. It'll take an array of bits as its input, and we can turn those bits back into a number by iterating through each bit and adding the value that that bit represents to a running total. Let's write a method called toNumber, which will take our bit array and turn it back into a usable number. So when we iterate through each bit, if there is a one, then we'll add the value that that column represents and if there is a zero, then we won't. We're going to be keeping a running total starting with zero and loop through each bit of the array with for each, which gives us the bit and its position in the array. You'll notice that bit zero of the array actually represents the highest valued bit. Typically, when we talk about bit zero of a binary number, it's actually referring to the lowest valued bit. To get the power of 2 that this bit in the array represents, we can take the number of bits that we have minus the current bit index minus 1. That last minus 1 is because, just like array indexes, power of 2s start at 0. But the length of the array gives us a number that starts with 1, so we need to even it out in this way. And now all we have to do is check if that bit is indeed a one. And if it is, we can add the value of this bit to the running total using its power of two. Now let's test this out with a four bit number, one, one, zero, zero. This number should represent the number 12. And sure enough, when we run it through our two number method, the number 12 does indeed come out. So to recap, computers work with binary and computers represent binary numbers with voltage levels in wires. Grouped wires inside the computer can act as a single number where each wire value represents a power of two. You can get the value of a whole binary number by adding together the power of two values for every bit that is a one.